Welcome to the AWS Cost Savings Quick Tip of the Day. Today we're talking about Amazon EC2 instances and specifically changing your instance type within the same family or a different family for better cost savings and performance. AWS releases new instance types all the time and they are typically cheaper than the old instance type. Let's head on over to the EC2 pricing page and take a look at some of the cost savings that are worth it. We're only going to be talking about the on-demand, but there are spot and savings plans, dedicated hosts, reserve instances. If you head on down to the AWS pricing calculator, we'll create our free estimate, go to EC2 instances, configure it, and I want to leave everything default. Right now I'm only talking about the Linux operating systems, but this is a great and easy way to create a quick estimate. I want to search by instance names to show you that the cost savings that are generated for each of the instance families that are available to you. For our instance types, let's talk about the T2 Nano. On here, our T2 Nano is 0 0.0058 cents per hour of cost. Okay, now take a look at the T4G Nano, which is 0 0.0042 cents. Look at the cost savings and you're still getting the same amount of CPUs and memory that are associated with the instance type. Perfect. Let's take a look at the T3 Micro. Actually, most of us selected T2 Micro, which is still available to you. Go to the latest T4G Micro. You're still getting most of the savings. Now we are going from one vCPU down to or up to two, but with a cost savings. So you're getting more CPU and a better cost savings. Another one to take a look at is those T2 Smalls. We have a T4G Small with the cost savings all the way down to 0.0168 hourly. Don't forget this all depends upon your application. If you stay in the same instance type in families, chances are that your application will work, but you wanna do the proper amount of testing before you do change instance types. Please do your testing. Now, this isn't much of a cost savings in the T or the general purpose instances, but if you take a look at some other ones, there's a huge amount of cost savings going with the latest generation of instance types that are available to you. This has been your AWS Cost Savings Quick Tip.